Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. My guest today led the New England Patriots in tackles last season, and he's been known to break out the Soldier Boy Superman dance after a sack. Two-time Super Bowl champion linebacker Kyle Van Noy is here. Why are you laughing about the Superman dance? Because I'm an idiot. No, <laughs> it that's wasn't, cool. It wasn't. I didn't go as planned as I thought. I practiced, you know. Why not? Because if you notice, I did like a, I don't know, I was like holding my hands and like going like this <laughs> to the side. It didn't look as good as I wanted to. Well, Soldier Boy has been on this show and he gave me a tutorial yeah. on how to do the dance. So I can probably like put you guys in touch if you want to perfect it. That'd be great. I would love it. that. Yeah. So the Patriots, I used to cover the Patriots. They are well known for hiding injuries. And you don't need to address that. <laughs> we just, we're just going to put that out there because we know that's the case. But with you... They didn't hide your most recent injury. They made it very public when mm -hmm. Bill Belichick shot you in the face with a paintball gun. He did. How did that happen? Man, well, first off, let's start before that. I actually okay. shot him first. We oh. had a couple games, so I got him out in one of the games. I got him a couple times. I don't think he knew it was me, but now it's right. public that it I was got you. Him. It was me. But the another game we were playing, you know, I think it's capture the flag and we were winning and there was only a couple guys we had to get out left. So I thought, why not just do kamikaze, try to, you know, get the last guys. And he was in a building and in the building there was paint from earlier games on the floor and I slipped going into the building and I yeah. caught myself. So it made a loud noise. So it made him aware. And then all their other teams were like, someone's coming, someone's coming. <laughs> and I tried to run around the building and there was a window and his gun came out the window like point blank and he hit me about three times in the face. And Three times? Yeah, just tink, tink. And then one hit me and my mask kind of flew down and hit my tooth. <laughs> Did you and have injuries? No injuries, you know, had to play it off. Like I'm out, but I was, you know, I was, it didn't feel good. And so I tried to just play it off for everybody and, you know, went to the trainer and said, is my teeth still good? <laughs> <laughs> and they said it was good. And, you know, it was fine after that. Is this something normal that you guys, you guys play paint, paintball a lot? No, it was kind of like a new activity, a team activity right. we did. And it was awesome. I would love to do it again. The team had a blast. It was fun to get to know different players on the team that normally you're not on the same team with like defensively, right. offense, special teams, you know, we're all thrown together. How'd you guys fun. pick teams? They do it. They, oh, do, they do it. it. Yeah. Okay. They put us together and, you know, it's fun. It's just all about team building and it's amazing. This isn't something I think most people would expect Bill Belichick to take part in. How come? He seems very serious to the outside, but I've heard and maybe I've seen a little bit that he actually has kind of a fun side to him, right? Yeah, he has a good sense of, sense of humor. Yeah. You know, he calls... You know, Instagram, InstaFace, Insta Snapchat, yes. Snapface, you know, I think that's all. I think he knows what they're called. He just likes to call them that, you know, that's his thing. So what side of Belichick have you seen that everyone else doesn't get to see? Well, have you seen him? Well, have you seen him pissed? Yes, at me, actually. <laughs> at you? Right well, at me, yes. I, have, he hasn't I took that as respect, though, by the way, right? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I would, especially in the media. Like, that's that's pretty big deal right? if you get yelled at by him. That means Thank you. you either asked a question that was pretty good or you got under his skin somehow. I don't know. So I sure feel like did. that's pretty good. He told me to stop it with my soliloquy. Wow. Yeah, that was He good. used a big word, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... So his his pissed off side is kind of funny uh, to me because I hope it's never at me. It's at someone else because he can say some words that can um, that are pretty funny. I, they're probably inappropriate, but they're they're funny to me when someone else gets yelled at. That's for sure. So he's never gotten mad at you. I'm sure he has, but oh, just not to your face. Yeah, let's okay. hope not. Okay. Let's keep that trend going. And I think, honestly, he's just a player's coach at the end of the day. He's really good at, you know, getting players to play their best when their best is needed. And he's able to communicate and ruffle a few feathers when he needs to. Give me the juice on this, though. He tells you guys not to say anything to the media, doesn't he? I mean, I'm here. Does that count? <laughs> that's true. That's true. That, that's but in big, season, right? you guys are. Yeah, you know, you want to respect his 
what he says, and I think more guys are they respect it. But I also we're gonna be ourselves. I'm gonna be who I am, and that's never gonna change. And I feel like you know it's okay to be yourself, but there's things that need to stay um, quiet or you know private. So since coming to New England, you have only played in Super Bowls, which three is for three. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It is awesome. When you found out in 2016 that you were being traded to the Patriots, mm -hmm. what was your real initial reaction? I was pissed. Okay. I was mad because I felt like finally I got a breakthrough to I'd been injured early in Detroit. I'm finally starting. Um, had my chance. I was doing good things. I wasn't doing you know, amazing, but I felt like I was progressing. And then I got traded to a team that had, you know, at the time, Ninkovich, Jabal Sheard, uh, Jamie Collins, Hightower, Shea McClellan, and then where am I gonna fit type of deal. So, oh, so you didn't like the fact you were going there? No, because I, I felt like I was going back to the bench and I worked so hard to get healthy and finally be a starter in the, in the NFL. But, you know, things didn't work out there and it ended up being a huge blessing. Thank, <laughs> thank the man upstairs for making that happen. How quickly did things turn around for you? Were like, okay, I'm happy I'm here. You know, I think after the first month, because the first month I was at the stadium from like six till ten at night, and then when I learned the playbook and I uh, began making plays and you know getting to know guys on the team and showing that I could help, I think that was when it started like, okay, this is, this is where I'm supposed to be. I like it here. It's business, it's football, and we win. And what, that, make, that makes everything <laughs> you right. You definitely win. I think at this point, the Patriots are like pros at throwing parties after they win. Yeah, Mr. Kraft. Ooh. He, yeah. He can throw a good one. Mr. Now. Kraft can throw a party. Yeah, he can. Really? Yeah. Tell me about Look this year's. I, I know, got. I know. I feel like you've got some <laughs> certain things that are coming yeah. up in your mind. Tell me about this year's party. Well, if you, I mean, if you've seen the pictures, we were all looking pretty dapper. We were looking, <laughs> we were looking good. Okay. Um, my suit was amazing. Okay. Shout out my guy, Gentleman's Playbook. He's the best suit guy in the game. All right. Um, and just every everybody was looking crisp, and uh, Mr. Kraft had a great, you know, a great speech. Bill had an amazing speech. Um, this is all the boring stuff, no offense. That's not, it wasn't I want to know about the party. It wasn't boring to no? us, though, because Bill doesn't, you know, when do you ever get to sit and him brag about the players? Oh, for, he was talking yeah, nicely like, about you guys? Yeah, it was nice. Wow. That's why we were all, like, paying attention. It was good. What did he say? I'm what like, were the nice things? Here, here's the thing. It goes back to the privacy situation. Oh, you're not going to tell me? <laughs> Just it was good things. Uh, just yeah. give me, like, one good thing that he said. Well, he gave Hightower the nickname Mr. February. Oh! That's a big deal. That is a big deal. I think that's a great nickname for Mr. him. Mr. February. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Yeah. The rings themselves, anything special about the rings this year? I mean, 422 diamonds, that's pretty <laughs> special. <laughs> okay. Um, they say still here. Uh, they have, I want to make, I think this is right. It's either, I think it's 17 conference championships or 16, but they're blue rubies on the side. Um, has the six trophies on the front, of course. Has all, has your name on the side. There's so many details on this ring because it's so big, I can't yeah. think of all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is it? Why didn't you bring it? Um, it's kind of hard to wear around because it's so... It's too big? It's too big. It like, <laughs> takes up my whole middle finger. <laughs> uh, I'm sad though, I want to see that thing in person. Yeah. So you mentioned the pictures that, that come out from these parties. Yeah. I'm sure you're aware there were some pictures of Gronk a few years ago at this party. There things, was. Things that he was doing. How is Gronk at this year's party? Mature. No, he was? <laughs> yeah, of course. No, he, he has a great time like he always does. I think he's learned he to have more down? fun in different ways. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game on FS1 to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.